Hi, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, I'm Penelope Pop, also known as Winnie Wong. That's actually my real name. If you have seen my videos, they're all usually centered around curating your lifestyle, living with the things that you need in your life. And sometimes we feature some fun videos here and there. Today, I'm going to be showing you my closet and I'm gonna talk about each little thing. If you haven't seen my How To Be Basic video about shoes, I talk about how I curate my shoe collection and you can go over there and watch. And today, this is more focused on the stories behind my shoes shoes and why I purchased it, etc so forth. So let's get straight to it and go. Okay, so if you haven't seen my closet video, I have two videos right now. One is about how I curate my closet and the second is a closet renovation video. So I recently renovated my closet and it's very influenced by Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's closet. There are three shelves over here and every single thing, if you know anything about me, is that I section it. I always put it in categories. There's always a space for different things so I can identify it and go to that area quickly. On top, I have my formal shoes and then all the way down, it goes to casual. Formal to casual. We're gonna start with the casual shoes. So we are gonna go talk about Stuart Waitzman shoes. The reason why I'm gonna talk about these two pairs is because I bought it at the same time. So these are a bit glittery and this is a bit nude. I was influenced by my friend Marion. She put like um, the silica gel that you find in food packs and you, I just put it here because I feel like it would prevent it from growing mold. I also have a dehumidifier in my closet to prevent um, humidity from seeping into the shoes or clothes. I bought this about four years ago and these were 50% off when SM Aura was about to close Stuart Waitsman, the, I mean the store. They're gonna close the Stuart Waitsman store so they priced everything at 50% off. So both of these were 50% off and I got them. I like, I like the brand because I feel like it's really comfortable and they are very nice and last for a really long time. I'm usually not the type to have like really glittery shoes, but I just felt like these are more neutral toned and they're glittery so I could go dip into the wilder side and more adventurous side of my closet choices. So these are Red Valentino shoes that my mom got me in Hong Kong. These were about like five years ago already and I got this because of a blogger that I used to watch and I remember my mom got it for me for my birthday when we went to Hong Kong and yeah. These are still in great condition. Now, when I get things that are a little bit patterny or glittery, as I've mentioned already, is that they're always just a hint of it. Like this is at the back, so it's not like screaming pattern. It's just very subtle. So when I wanna be a little bit adventurous with color and patterns. This is as far as I go, where there's some subtlety in the design. Now, I would never say I'm a trendsetter. I'm someone that follows trends. And then I pick the more neutral tone so that it's wearable and I can wear it all the time. Next is my Aquazura shoes. I got this on net -Port and I got them in the wrong size. So this was a good lesson for me because these are actually quite pricey. So I got them about four years ago as well. I added a little padding behind because it was just a little bit too big because they ran out of the sizes and then I was really desperate to get it. So I got it, but these run really big and it's a little bit hard to walk. So whenever you're purchasing shoes, always make sure that you get the size that fits you. And sometimes it's always good to know the size that you have for that particular brand. You're not just wildly guessing because sometimes if you're a 6.5, it might fit a little bit bigger or smaller. This is a good lesson for me. I like the style of these shoes, but the problem is that the lace over here is gets a little bit tangly and not so nice. I wouldn't purchase this again because it's already like loose in strap. From afar, it looks really nice, but from up close, you can see the little threads coming out. Next are these Mansur Gabrielle shoes that I got in New York when I went to stay with my friend Powi. We went shopping and there's a Mansur Gabrielle store there. And I remember I went with him and he just sat there while I went shopping. And these are the white ones that I got. They were also on sale. Um, I'm not much of a person that like goes for sale items now because I feel that like if you should buy things that you like and not because they are on sale. That shouldn't be the reason why you purchase things. But I like this style and I bought it. So it was a win-win situation for me. Next again, our Stuart Waitzman shoes. These are the most popular shoes that I have. You know, people might criticize me. Maybe I'm not 
pronouncing Stuart Weitzman properly, but yeah. Okay, so these ones are new trap heels. I love them. These are the second pair that I've purchased. The other one, the, the straps came off because I wore them all the time. And then I guess the heel broke as well. So I finally got new pairs this year and yeah, I really love them. I love the tones. It fits for every single style and I've gotten used to this height, so it's really nice. I got this on Net-A-Porter, which is where I get a lot of my stuff because it's very easy to order and they come in nice packaging. It's fast, very all around good service. Next are these heels from Bottega. I actually saw this on Ami Song's Instagram. She's wearing this blue and white pair and um, she can because she's really baller, you know. Yeah, so I was influenced and I wanted the white pairs, but then I thought about it again that it's really hard to maintain. So, I, and also they were completely out. So that's how much of an influence Ami Song has when she's putting out shoes that she likes. Everything was sold out and when I, well, I purchased this, what, two summers ago? So when I went with Pat to the States, we got this on Rodeo. And it was great because um, I got these. These are the only pair left on in this size. So I still really like it. I don't regret purchasing this color because it's very flattering and also very neutral tone. So it can pair with a lot of things. Okay, next are these Gucci heels. I'm just gonna bring out the other one that I bought at the same time, which are these. I bought this at the same store in France when I went on my Europe trip because my friend Kelly and Alvaro, they both got married in Madrid. While I was there, I went to other places in Europe because tickets to Europe are very, very expensive. So if you're gonna go there and if you can and your budget is willing, then you should go to other places. I also saved up a lot of money for this because I knew that if I was going to Europe, like you could save up on a lot. But I mean, you're not really saving with luxury items because you're still spending for the luxury. I wouldn't say you're ever saving. It is a lot cheaper if you buy it there than if you buy it abroad. So I made sure that I got the shoes that I wanted and I saved up for it and then I didn't buy for a really long time. I don't think I bought that year. These are the two pairs that I got. These are still in really good condition because I get them cleaned at Grail cleaning services so they can pick it up at your house and then they can bring it back and it takes about two weeks to clean. So these soles usually are like yellow, they turn yellow and then they manage to switch it back to white. Four years old already, so still very wearable. Next are these heels. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is Castanas. Like, you know, with pronunciation, a lot of people are like, you're pronouncing it wrong on YouTube. Like there are always people that want to just spot the mistakes that you make. Like I had this video on bags and then a lot of comments are like, it's a comb, not a brush. I'm like, geez, okay, don't be so aggressive about it, chill. You can correct people, but you don't need to be so aggressive about it. Like some people are just so negative. You don't know how much it affects people. It just isn't cool. Oh so guys, be careful about being keyboard warriors or whatever. Anyways, these are the shoes that I got. This is Castaner and I bought this also when I was in Spain and I was influenced by my friend Kelly because she wore it and she looked really good in it. So I bought it myself too. So yeah. All right, we're moving on to the second shelf. Let's talk about this first. These are Charlotte Olympias. I have two Charlotte Olympia pairs over here. This one I got two Christmases ago in my Christmas video. If you can see at Christmases with the Sorianos, you can see that uh, I got this from Tony. And for those of you who are wondering how I know Tony and Kathy, it's because of my boyfriend, Pat. He, his brother is married to Tony. So I've gotten close to her. She's my business partner and she's is almost like a sister to me, like a sister I never had. So I really like this. Usually I'm not a fan of people gifting me like clothing or anything. And in fact, like when I gift people things, I don't gift clothes or anything that would require someone to, that would influence someone's personal style. Just because I feel like those things are very personal and people should get to choose what they fit and how they wear certain things. And when you get something for somebody and they don't wear it, people feel bad. So whenever I give people things, I don't feel bad. First of all, if I get them the wrong thing, it's just a process of getting to know people. Um, I always think about their personality and what would be practical. So I usually like getting practical gifts that people will actually use. That's not the case for every single person that I get, but most of the time, like I really think about the person, who they are and what they would actually use. I'm not a fan of giving gifts just for the sake of giving gifts and then just 
yeah, it's just excess. It's not necessary. You don't need to give gifts if you're just gonna give it. Yeah, I like to give food or things that they would actually use. So yeah, these are, this is one of like, this was a really nice Christmas gift that I got and I use it all the time. It's very simple and it's very comfortable. I'm gonna talk about these two pairs next because they have a story that works together. This is the Charlotte Olympia pair that I saw Gary Pepper wear. She is one of my favorite vloggers, but now she has a baby now and she's evolved and she is Nicole Warren. You know how Pikachu evolves. So she wore these flats and I really liked them. So I actually bought this one first because for some reason I thought they were pug flats. Obviously I didn't pay close attention to it. I just liked it, idea of it. And I don't regret purchasing both of these. I still wear it. Um, I bought this at Fashion Island. I went to the States during college. So that's around eight years ago already. And yeah, I got this and it's very comfortable. There's cushion inside. This is by Marc Jacobs. This one I actually got secondhand in a Taipei 101 store and the stuff around it is already like out of it. But if you're not like looking this close, then you won't notice it. That's the store in my shoe. These are Gucci flats that I purchased. Um, I just like this style. It just feels very Gucci, very old Gucci. And um, I got this, what, also two to three summers ago in the States. And um, I bought this in LA and I really liked it. So okay, so I got these. There's really nothing more to say. This one, I also got um, the same trip as this. These are Miu Miu shoes. And I also saw Gary Pepper wearing these and I super, super loved it because I just thought it was really cool. Although they look like bowling shoes, I just feel like you can pair it well with a nice skirt and it will look very classic. Didn't buy it at full price. I think because they're so niche in style, not a lot of people would like it because I actually saw it at an outlet mall, which we had to like drive three hours for. At this outlet mall, they were selling it for 50% off. So what a steal. Again, I would never purchase things unless I like it. Back then, I still was shifting mentality and getting into the whole idea that you shouldn't buy things just because because they are on sale. That's just marketing schemes. Next are these Christian Dior heels. And I got this when I went to Taiwan with Kathy, Viv, Katz, and um, I brought them around and we went to Taipei 101 and we went to the flagship Dior store there and I bought these. I like it because it's just cute. I really have nothing else to say. Why would you buy anything if it's not cute? All right, next shoe, pair of shoes are these Valentinos. I feel like the studs are a staple Valentino look. So you can know that these studs are, it screams Valentino. I got these in Adora in the Philippines. It's in Greenbelt. And I remember my mom and I were just shopping and they had like a good sale for the entire store. So I got these then. Usually these are, it wasn't that much cheaper. So I just got this along with a bag that I split with my mom. And there's no shame in splitting or sharing with anyone that you're close to, as long as you trust them, that they will take care of your items. You should be open to sharing because sharing is caring. Next are these classic Chanel slingbacks. Um, I always wanted them. I saw them on Ami Song again. This is just the influence of influencers, guys. Come on. I just really like these pair. I felt like these are very classic. They look really good. Honestly, they're not as comfortable at the beginning because you have to wear into them. Just like any heel that you wear, it's just a little bit hard and like, and ballet as well. If you're wearing point shoes, you have to wear into it before they get comfortable. And when they get too soft, you can't wear them anymore. These ones I got in Japan and I remember they only had like one size left and I was really desperate because it was almost impossible to find the shoes back then. Like it was so in demand. And um, I got these at a uh, uh, size 36. I am a size 36.5 to seven. And they were, they were a little bit too. Because there's this thing over here, it kind of stretches out so it, it's actually okay if I purchase this and it doesn't, it's actually too small. It's perfect. The lady in the store said it was okay as well. You should consult them. Next are these shoes that I actually got recently. These are these cult Gaia shoes. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but please forgive me if I am not. These ones I feel like are a little bit more stylized, but they also gear towards the neutral tone. So it doesn't scream pattern. I really like the unique heel that it has. It gives a little bit of a pizzazz when you are wearing it. I do have a feeling though it's not going to be as comfortable as I thought it would have been. You can wear into things. No pain, no gain. That's the saying. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Put them on net a porte and they look good. So yay, we're moving to the bottom part. Over here, I have these two workout running shoes. Now this one, 
I've actually changed uh, last year because the other one that I had already was worn out. The front sole was coming out because I wore it almost every day. I only have two pairs of running shoes. I have a white and black to match my outfit because that really matters. And I used to go to the gym with these and then I also go to outreaches with this. This is like the standard pair that I use for anything. And I got this last year here in the Philippines. And then this one I got in New York when I went shopping with my friend. Carlo and this was the same trip as a New York trip and we went to the big Adidas store there and Got these so they're really nice The only problem with these shoes is that you have to wear high socks or else like it's going to rub onto the back of your heel And it's a little bit painful when you wear high socks It's fine. This is the pair and because I clean them regularly It is still really nice. I mean, it's amazing for white shoes if you think about it, if you've had it for four years and they're still like this. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my Converse's. In my other video, I talk about buying things that are unique, like I wouldn't buy something of the same style and color, but this is an exception because I was actually gifted these and I do feel like I could wear them. These are the first, uh, these are the second Converse I ever, I have ever owned. The first one I ever got was an olive tone Converse that I wore in high school for your dance show. Um, because it just wasn't as versatile, I um, gave it to somebody else. So these are the ones that I got, I like it. I don't have any other black shoes other than that. Everything else in here is white. So this one, I really like how unique this little pattern is. Again, like if ever I do get anything that has a bit of an illustration, it always has to be subtle. It can't just like pop every single place. I'm not that type that likes too many patterns and so these are the other two pairs that i got with my feature at mega it was like last year or two years ago last two years ago already because quarantine just feels like i don't know i don't know it just feels weird it's two years ago because last year was the start of quarantine okay so um these are the two that i got this is a shorter version this is the higher version and yeah these are gifted to me and i really like them so i kept them Okay, and then we're gonna talk about these. I got these at Uptown at a store and a Kimbo. I got this at a Kimbo, which is a store that curates like different, different brands and like very limited edition brands. And this is Axel Arigato. I'm not even sure if that's correct pronunciation again, but I really like it because they're platform shoes and they make you feel tall. Um, again, I always get these clean so they stay as white as possible and they're very comfortable and I've worn these out so many times. It's a very versatile shoe. I can wear it for anything. For my shoes, I usually have these little things that I put in so that it keeps it structured and in place. Okay, we're on to the second to the last shoe or third shoe. Um, this is my newest pair of shoes that I purchased. These are the Louis Vuitton high arch shoes um, and I really like them because they give a very hype beast look you know i want to feel hip at times because sometimes when you teach and you like teach students they make you feel really uncool you know you're just talking to them and then they're just like yeah and you're trying to crack jokes and stuff and they're they're not they don't dig it at all so sometimes you just gotta channel it with clothes just feel it sometimes clothes can make you feel that way so i that's why i bought these and also like my closet and wardrobe has been very limited during quarantine because i don't go out a lot i only go to work and sometimes wearing these shoes kind of gives that boost and makes me feel like wearing everyday clothes still looks really nice next these are ancient greek sandals that i got on at a porte recently these are my second pair of shoes first of all my first pair i kind of ruined because i wore it to the beach and these are leather so that if you get it wet it ruins it and stains the leather so i wouldn't recommend bringing this to the beach or wearing it like you can bring it i mean you can wear it like in the sand but not near the water and i actually had the like nude version of this but a camel version of this but it cat chewed it out appa chewed it so now i place it at a safer place a safer height so that they don't just chew everything and these are the pair that i got lesson learned <laughs> all right and the next pair of shoes i want to talk about are these crocs these are shoes i never thought i would talk about or wear but these are extremely comfortable especially for home um, i wear this around the house and 
yeah, the reason why I do is because I originally had like kind of soft house shoes, but it was so inconvenient because if ever I would get it wet, I have to wait for it to dry. And so I got these instead and they dry up very quickly and they're very versatile in whatever trek you're going on around your house. Here they are. Um, I actually got these pins sent to me from Crocs. So thank you so much Crocs. And I really love them and they're very cute. They add some flavor into it, but subtle and not too loud, which is what I'm all about. And they also sent me two pairs, one I gave my mom and another I'm going to be giving away in this video. So the last pair I'm going to talk about is another pair I'm actually gonna give away. These shoes I bought when I went to the States, I think a year before I was gonna graduate. Okay, so I got these Prada heels and the same trip I went on when I got this and the Mew Mews. So um, these are 50% off and um, I thought that, ooh, it's Prada, it's 50% off. Then I realized that these are, re the reason why they're 50% off was because like they're not like things you can wear every single day. And I bought it, but back then I was still developing my knowledge. I'm always learning. I'm still learning now. So I wanna make mistakes and I'm always, I, I will always have flaws, but that's what makes people, people. No one's perfect, okay? So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be giving this away. I wore this for my graduation. I wore it for another event and that was pretty much it. Um, they are still in very good condition and they're very nice. So if you're into orange, I'm gonna be giving two pairs of orange shoes. So one is casual and one is formal. These are Crocs. If you are a size six, this is for you. This is six, yeah, this is a size six and Yes, so there's some pins here and they're also these heels. So if you really like them, you can go get it and that's it. Uh, all you need to do is follow the mechanics in the description below, which is to follow and subscribe to my Instagram and my YouTube and make sure you leave a comment to, to join the giveaway. And that's it. Thank you for so much. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I try my best to answer every single thing. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.